All of this is randomly generated, by the way. So, I have very, very short term memory. And <laughs> Okay, so let's revisit yung project ko nung freshman ako. So freshman, first sem ako. CS11. My first programming class. Yung binigyan na requirements ng instructor namin nun. Nagbigay siya ng game engine sa Python. Piglet, right? Tapos, basta mag-implement ng OOP methods, no? Mga classes, mga instance functions, etc. Mag-implement ng ganun and then free reign. You could... Do whatever game you want. And I'll show you yung ano itura mismo ng project. Papano siya na document. And I'll try my best to explain how everything works. No? So a little background with this project. Uh, ito yung GitHub repository. So it's open source. Anyone can look at it. It's been open source since two years ago. Which was back in 2018 nung freshman ako. This project was given to us for like a couple of weeks or three weeks. And then kindram ko siya in like Three days. Just to prove that to you, I do remember my commits na parang yun, November 13 next start and then December 2 nag end. So you could see yung cramming ko in that time period. So three days. Pinaka recent kong commit was back in December of 2020. Na inedit ko siya just to be compatible with the current Python version. Kasi pinagana ko ulit for the UP Dileman BSCS video. Ito siya. Nasa machine ko siya ngayon. And pagganahan natin. So, ayan. So, let's play it. No? So, simple card game. No? We're familiar with this format na nagmamatch tayo ng pairs. Okay, so, sige. Tuloy natin. One, two, three. Right? All of this is randomly generated, by the way. <laughs> okay. Right, so let me my name. Play toilet. Okay, here I'll show you this one. Though. So another like really quick mechanic that I implement ko is, may mga healing potions na cards. So they're over here. No, when I match them, nagigina ko na heart. Right, so that's a very little mechanic na I implement ko with the game. I have very very short term memory. And, <laughs> right? So, tapos yung scoreboard din, makikita natin dyan. Naka-store yan sa isang maliit na SQLite na database. Uh, pakita ko sa yung documentation, really quick. You would say na three days mong ginawa, so, ano yung last day, ginamit ko ba sa documentation? Well, no. Kasi, while I was coding, naglalagay na ako ng comments sa code ko. So, for example, ito, yung class of card, May malaking comment siya. Bawat function then here, you would notice may sariling comment. May library yung Python na you could just run tapos generate yung PDF for you. It's called Sphinx for Python. And I'm sure other languages like PHP, uh, Java, C++ have their own documenting, ano din, documenting libraries. No? So I'll show you ano itura ng PDF na yun. Uh, Memory Dungeon, Documentation. Group 38, pero I did this on my own. Tapos, table of contents. That's all automatically generated. Lista muna natin yung mga modules, no? So, ito yung mga uh, parang helper classes natin. May board, may card. Tapos, yung mga dalawang main na classes here is yung engine tsaka yung interface, right? Yung player para sa storage of yung high score lang yan. So, yung interface yung bahala sa graphics, yung pag-flip ng card, yung sound na nagpe-play pag-flip yung card, yung arrangement ng mga cards, etc. Yung images, siya yung bahala dun. Yung engine, siya yung nagde-decide kung ano yung data na pa-present sa'yo. Like, anong cards yung ma-generate, tapos your HP, no? kung mag heal ka ba, etc. So, let's look at itong mga helper classes muna natin. Board and card. Ito yung card. Uh, may ID siya. This should be unique. Tapos, may key. Yung key yung nag-correspond kung wolf ba siya, kung fireball ba siya, or kung ano man yung contents niya. So, yung mga contents ay yung mga variables niya, yung mga attributes niya. Kung ano yung face niya, kung na-flip na ba siya. 
Tapos kung na correctly guess na ba siya. Tapos kung healing potion siya. Right? Tapos may dalawa siyang functions. Flip tsaka set correct. Right? So, OOP stuff. May sariling functions, may sariling attributes. Then, let's look at the board, which is also very simple as well. Na may rows and columns kung ano yung size. Tapos, currently na nakalagay na cards. Tapos, may isa siyang function shuffle. Na nag-shuffle siya ng cards. Yung code, very simple. You could just look at this sa GitHub. Right? Link is in the description below. So, the next big module with the with the game is yung engine. May isa siyang variable. And yun yung board. Hinahold na yung board object. So, let's look here. May sarili siyang board over here. Tapos, ito yung mga functions niya. Meron tayo end game. Uh, ito, ito yung one of the more complicated functions here. Generate cards. And kung ilan pairs yung generate natin. So, let's look at that. Ayan. Generate cards, pairs. Tapos, ayan yung algorithm na nag-generate ng pairs natin. And then, ina-append siya sa board. If you have noticed, no, when we play the game, every level na nagpa-progress tayo, nag expand yung board natin. So, kasama na siya dito sa algorithm na yan. Tapos, meron tayong get scoreboard. Wala. It just interfaces with the database. So, yung submit. I think, yeah, that's it, no? So, pretty simple for the engine. Then, ito yung meat ng game, right? Nasa interface.py. So, here, uh, nilaload yung engine-specific stuff. Like, anong mga resources yung trading na natin. No? So, may mga assets tayo. Yung animations, yung text, yung audio, etc. So, for example, dito sa cards. 1, 2, hanggang kay 11. Nandiyan lahat yan. Let's skip all these variables. You could read this on your own. Pero let's look at the yung important stuff, right? To mga engine specific yan, I have to load preload some stuff to the engine. Let's try looking at card render. What it does is, 'di ba, mayroon tayong board tapos may card siya. For every card, chine-check niya yung position niya with row and column. Tapos if the card is currently flipping, i-animate natin yung flipping animation else Else, if the card is uh, not flip, uh, let's render the back of the card, which is this one, no? And then, if it's flip, let's render the face. So, yung face, it's determined pag instantiate natin ang card. So, let's look at the engine. Let's go to the algorithm. So, here, we natin yung pag instantiate ng cards through the engine. In-open yung config.json. So, this is what config.json looks like. Uh, per key, andyan yung... Attributes, no? So, kung ano content niya, Scorpion, Shadow, Bomb, etc. Tapos kung ano image siya, and then kung healing ba siya, etc. Right? Nalo-load yan to the card object through engine.py over here. Doon nagagala yung card.image URL. Doon sa pag-instantiate here sa engine.py. So, yun yung card render. Ito yung pag-calculate ng position ng card with spacing. I have to do a little bit of math. Paano naka-space out yung cards. So, Ganun siya. Ganun lang nag-run. So, sa freshman year mo sa Diliman, ito yung papagawa sa'yo. Freshman year. First sem. Ito yung project na pinagawa sa amin. Although you would say Python is like a very easy language, you would learn a lot naman eh. Like in terms of how objects work, you know, yung encapsulation and abstraction din nung mga class functions, class methods. And I admit, like looking back at my code, Two years ago, it looks like really messy and stuff. Siguro on a later date, kung gaganahan ako, I would rewrite this and show you how I would write it right now. Honestly, I'm proud of myself two years ago na yung sinulat kong code is self-documenting in a sense. Eh. Na titignan ko lang yung mga variables. Ah, I know what it does, right? So self, that's price at a pen. As alam ko na nag ako ng background sprite here, for example. And yung pinrovide na comments ko for the code, is first off, nakikita sa code mismo over here, right? I could just read this and know what's going on. Tapos I could also uh, consult the PDF and alam ko. So I coded this two years ago. I don't remember how it works. Pero now na trigdan ko siya, you would appreciate yung importance of documentation. Eh. Parang after 10 minutes of like looking at the code, I pretty much know what's going on. So if you're starting out in coding, uh, even if hindi naman ganito kalaki na project yung binigay sa inyo. 
no even if high school ka pa lang it's important na you make your code self documenting wala naman penalty sa mahahaba na variable name right wala naman penalty doon eh like hindi naman bumabagal yung program mo kung 100 characters yung variable name mo wala naman penalty so go write your variable names as long as you want basta naintindihan siya no walang ko dire as <laughs> self dot b ganyan tapos equal something kasi after like a month or two when i go back and look at the code hindi ko malalam what self dot b means no meanwhile kung titingnan ko to self dot all done sound ah alam ko na when everything's finished this is this is the object to be played so yun i guess moral of the story is documentation is important like choosing choosing very descriptive variable names well documented code no well commented code is i think more important than clean code kahit gaano kaganda yung indentation mo and stuff kung may ibang tao binasa niya hindi niya magets na maayos hindi niya magets na mabilis medyo mahirap din kasi when you code you spend 10% writing it and 90% reading it so you should make yung 90% of reading your code more efficient and as always Thanks for watching. If you like this, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Again, the code for this is in the description below. And as always, thank you and see you next time. Peace.